Hey guys, welcome back to RHR Gen. I'm so glad you're here, you guys. We have some stuff to talk about. Um, as you know, I'm still dealing with this sickness. I'll be fine, but I have a spokesman here with me because I'm very angry. Not at this. This is lovely. I love Catherine so much. See my video on that, but I'm very angry about, you know where I'm going with this, the timing and what Harry and Meghan are pulling to try to get attention away from our lovely Catherine. So here to speak up for me and be my voice is Jay. Say hi. Get mad. Grr. <laughs> this is Jay, <laughs> you, uh, also known as Dr. Bad Vibes. And I'm here to, I mean, seriously, talk about the nonsense. It's shocking. I got off work and Jen's like, guess what? And I was like, what? And I was like, oh, wow, I didn't expect any of that. So that's what we're going to talk about. I'm so upset about this whole thing. I can't. <laughs> I, I just can't even look at them right now. So we're going to look at beautiful pictures of our Catherine, um, again, from her announcement. But I, I'm just, I, I'm so, this is, this is low even for them. It's not, it's not that it's anything new, but even for them, this is just so vile. That's the word that comes to mind on this. But let me just show you what we're talking about here. So here's the official announcement from the Prince and Princess of Wales with a message from Catherine, including that glorious video that we got. You can see the timestamp on the bottom left. It was released at 1129. I'm Eastern time. So 1129 AM Eastern time. 90 minutes later, 90 minutes later, those two were at it again. Netflix drops this. I don't even want to talk about it or promote Netflix. I'm so disgusted with the three of them. I'm talking about Netflix, Harry and Megan. But I'm just showing you the timestamp here. You can see it on the bottom left, 109 p.m. Again, Eastern time. They drop this. Um, promoting Harry's new polo documentary. Oh, and this, in case you thought that that was like a pre-scheduled coincidence. No, no. Just moments later, they went through and posted it on their um, UK and Ireland Netflix whatever page as well this is just so I, I i can't i can't jay you talk i'm so mad yeah i mean i kind of thought well maybe maybe it was scheduled but then it's like you see the times that doesn't make sense so they wouldn't i don't think anybody's typing it like oh this has to go live at 109 p.m yeah. and then right after the other ones so i mean they were rushing they get this out and obviously trying whatever whoever is behind it whatever the motivation well the obvious motivation is that they're trying to ride the algorithm of the internet be like oh this is out there we got to get this out too and it's just so disrespectful um it's you know it's just just tacky mm -hmm. and gross mm -hmm. it's shameful it really is i i, I can't i can't say enough i i'm just I, I use the word disgusted, but it just so much applies here. This is so much worse, in my opinion, than the other crap that they've pulled. And believe me, I've been working on, again, I'm out sick, but I put together a compilation of all the times that I could remember that they've tried to upstage the Wales family. And it's it, there's so many instances of it, especially around Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her birthday. So look for that. Um, I'll try to get that out soon. But... um. Just, just to put in perspective, okay, so <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I know all of you understand that this is what Harry and Meghan do. But if you're new here, you want to give Harry and Meghan the benefit of the doubt. Can't imagine why. Um, I would like to also remind you that when William and Catherine were at Earthshot in Boston, remember she wore that beautiful green dress and they were getting all the attention? Guess what? Harry and Meghan did. And again, I have a whole compilation. There's a million of examples of awful things they've done to try to upstage the Wales family. But they, through Netflix, decided to drop the promotion trailers for their uh, Harry and Meghan series. So they have a history here. They have a history, of course, of trying to upstage them, but also through Netflix doing crap like this. So I don't believe this is a coincidence. But you guys, I'm sickened by this. The timing of their announcement about this polo documentary. Don't even get, I mean, Jay, you can go into this in a minute, how ridiculous a polo documentary is. Shortly after Catherine, Princess of Wales shared her deeply personal and her uplifting news, her, her video. It can, 
to me, it's just so profoundly insensitive and, and just like everything else that they touch, it's calculated. I always say, you know, Harry just seems dumb and angry in my opinion. Megan is calculated. This is calculated. I, it's just insensitive, insensitivity at its peak. The decision to, to overshadow such a heartfelt and universally celebrated moment with their own project announcement, it's just such a, a glaring lack of empathy. Catherine's video was not just an announcement. It was a beacon of hope for so many, showcasing her resilience and, and, you know, the love within that family. And then Harry and Meghan choose this moment to put this crap out. It suggests either a severe oversight, no, or more likely, a deliberate attempt to redirect attention toward themselves. A giant, look at me. I can't even make jokes at this point. I'm so irritated. They have this pattern of upstaging. Again, you'll find my video, hopefully up tomorrow, where I show this. This is just not an isolated incident. It's a reoccurring theme. Harry and Meghan's actions just, they they time this stuff to any kind of royal event. I mean, I even go into it, again, think about ARO, this, this debacle they're in now. It's just such nonsense because it was rushed out to try to upstage William when he was talking about, you know, his mother, talking about Diana. She had to get it out there. She had to try to upstage. It doesn't even matter. It's that whole, what, cut off your nose to disp- despite your face. Sorry, I'm on so much cold medicine. You know the saying. That, that's what she's done. That's what Megan does. Um, it's an exploitation on family struggles. They're choosing this moment to exploit, I mean... <laughs> A supposed family member. I say it like that because they are no longer members of the royal family, in my opinion. But to, to use a health battle for their own publicity, it's just particularly cruel. They themselves were asking for what? Privacy. We want privacy. And yet it just underscores where they, they, they use personal gain. It's prioritized over any kind of family solidarity or respect for privacy during health crisis. Um, it's just a, it's an, it's a low for them. And that's saying something because they've done a lot of terrible things. I, I'm going on and on. Jay, you say things. I'm so irritated over this. Yeah. Whoever thought this was a good move uh, made a very, very bad miscalculation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, like Jim was saying, this was meant to be a beacon of hope, something up, uplifting for people. And I would guarantee more people in the world have been touched you know, directly or indirectly by cancer versus an expensive horse game. And (laughs) that's, this is not the time for that. And it's just, it just screams how tone deaf whoever was behind this is. And I'm sure there's going to be backlash over it. If there, if not already. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, (laughs) I'm sure it was immediate. So there you go. But yeah, I mean, to try and overshadow this, very important message i mean it's you know there's something so stupid it's it's ridiculous it's like we've got this heartfelt message trying to let people know there's hope it's you know hang in there you know and it's how you know other people know how tough it is and then you got prince goober like check out my check out my documentary about me spanking Mr. Ed in hopes that he talks <laughs> during this game. Uh-huh. I mean, you're saying that in jest, and I and that's great. You're, you're so good at taking down Prince Doofus. Definitely check out his channel because he's been taking down Prince Doofus. But what's not funny is do you realize that Harry has a history there? I I have to say allegedly because you know how they roll. But we've seen evidence that suggests that Harry has had a history of mistreating animals. In fact, they both have because of, you know, dogs that didn't make it. We've seen dogs and cats. We've heard about the pregnant polo horse and things like that. It's it's just a repeated pattern of awfulness toward people and toward animals. Yeah, just a track record of 
I mean, again, like you were saying earlier, just trying to upstage their own family members. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, if you can still call them family at this point, I don't know how real those rumors of reconciliation are. Uh, if they, yeah, if any hope of that olive branch uh, was actually there, this probably turned it into a uh, very gross oil that you don't want to dip your bread in. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Didn't expect that. But yeah, you're right. It's, and he's making light with the olive branch. We know there's never going to be an olive branch. I mean, there's so many instances where I say never again could they possibly be expected to be welcomed back. And then to me, this is the ultimate in awfulness. It's just, it's appalling to see another example of their relentless, disrespectful, shameless behavior. You know, again, I want to put the focus on Catherine, Princess of Wales, who just shared the most beautiful, just, uh, you guys, touching, courageous. I have watched that video, I'm not kidding, like 10 times now and cried every single time. I showed it to Jay and cried. I showed it to the Gosling and cried. Um, she just shared this news with the world. She's, it should have been her moment. It should have been, and it is her moment, but a moment of solely about her bravery and the love of her family. And 90 minutes later, these two chose to trample, if you will, on that by announcing a polo documentary. This isn't a coincidence. This is calculated. I go back to that. She is calculated and contemptible. And it's an attempt to overshadow Catherine. And in, in another, in a long line of mean-spirited stunts, and that doesn't even feel worded strongly enough, but it is, it's mean-spirited stunts that they've pulled to try to repeatedly one-up the whales family, especially Catherine. The timing, it's, it's what speaks volumes about their character. It's their actions. It's things like this that just reignite my passion for calling them out and talking about this stuff. How low... Do you have to go to try to steal spotlight from someone's recovery from cancer? Again, I overuse the word disgusting, but it, it's disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I guess the if, you, if I were to boil it down to one word, it's definitely disrespectful. It's just so petty. And I mean, think of it like in the real world. Like, say, you know, somebody doesn't have any kind of platform. You know, you're out in the waiting room and the doctor comes out and like, hey, we're dumb. We, we we got it. And somebody else in the waiting room happens to hear, it's like, uh-oh, here, here's my chance. And they pull out their phone and make a TikTok dance around it and oh, yeah. hashtag emotional. <laughs> it's like, that's, <laughs> that, I mean, that's about what we're doing, except there's a horse involved instead of dancing. It's, 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 the platform may be different, but the, uh, the intent's kind of the same, right? I don't know if it's my fever or what, but I continue to be blown away by your analogies. That's spot on. That's brilliant. That's exactly what it is, but a million times worse. I get what you're saying. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. We're witnessing this continual calculated campaign of hostility from Harry and Meghan toward the entire family. But again, especially I go back to Catherine anytime they can try to take her down. They try. It's just disgraceful. It's a disgraceful attempt to gain attention by any means necessary, no matter who they hurt in the process. Well, joke's on them. Who's going to be watching this BS? I, I, I got nothing. Even if they didn't try to steal focus in this just completely abhorrent way, I, I just can't imagine who is this documentary for? Who's wanting to, who's dying to watch Apollo documentary with Prince Doofus in there. I can't, I mean, I even had people in my comments when I originally talked about the possibility of this documentary and people would say, I, I would say personally, I have no, I have no field of reference. Polo just isn't, I don't know. It's not a thing in our world. We just don't know anything about it. It's the Marco kind. Yeah. <laughs> Jay just said the Marco kind, Marco Polo. But um, we just, we don't know anything about Polo. We're not around Polo. I don't know anybody who plays Polo. It's just not a thing in our universe. But I get it. Some people do like polo, but I've had many of you in the comments say, I enjoy polo. I don't want to watch it on Netflix. And I especially don't want to watch those two, you know, in any kind of documentary. So I, I, I ask you, who is this for? I don't know. Yeah, we, we kind of did a video on that a while back. And it's, it's a very strange, everything about it is strange. Yeah. It's such a, a very, such a specific sport for a very, I mean, you know, there's an audience, of course. I mean, I'm not knocking 
the sport of polo. I mean, you know, it's still a sport. And Netflix is really trying to get the their sport content up there. But this, of all things, to do it with him, I mean, it makes, uh, you know, them paying billions of dollars for pro wrestling sound way more sane. <laughs> they, 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 Netflix got the rats to WWE. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say after that. Uh, I just... To bring it just full circle, I, I just, again, I, I point to the repeated pattern of doing things like this. You'll see my video on it soon. I, it's revolting. It is. It's shameful. Um, it's just, I just go back to the disrespect they continue to show Catherine. <sighs> what are we doing? Why do they have any kind of titles? They're just awful people. I, I just, ugh. I don't know. I don't feel good. I want to go lay down. I'm just, this makes me sick. It really does. It really does. I'm, I'm sick over this, but I'm going to let go of Harry and Megan and instead focus on the positive, wonderful news that we got from Catherine and this amazing video we got. And I'm going to watch it 10 more times and I'm going to cry about it. And Hey, a huge thank you to everybody who wrote me the most lovely messages about my response to the video. I, you really, you Oh, you made my heart swell like 10 times its size. You really did. You, you made me feel so good. Thank you so much for that. Jay, any final thoughts on this? Anything you want to try to upstage anybody with? <laughs> you know, sometimes your brother goes through a rough time. Would you like to maybe, you know, make fun of him publicly and, I don't know, try to make him feel terrible? <laughs> what you got? That doesn't sound like a great idea. Yeah, so this whole debacle is just... It's just such a head scratcher. I'm sitting here just trying to think, like, who thought any of this was a good idea? I mean, even from the the polo documentary from the beginning, and then of all things to use this to try and promote it. Uh, again, like I said earlier, I mean, I know they're trying to build up their sports content on Netflix, but who thought that polo would have the the, the more cartoonish storyline compared to pro wrestling? <laughs> I mean, here we are. It's like, hey, here's this uh, beautiful, heartfelt message. Oh, by the way, horses. <laughs> I mean, this is where we're at. Like, oh it, it's no shame, no class. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what you get. Yeah. So, you know, we'll probably be hearing more about it in a different view than they intended. Yes. And will you be talking about this on your channel? Please, for the love of God, help spread the word how awful they are. Yeah, uh, it's funny. I was literally working on a video that was something totally barely unrelated uh, involving Twitter. So now Twitter's like, hold my beer. <laughs> we got this now. So I, I basically have to stop what I'm doing there and do this one now. Yeah. So yeah, talk I'll talk about it too. And sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to make light of her situation. No. I'll, I can't help but joke. Yeah. I, I actually had a coworker one time when we started working in a different company. He's just like, oh, he's like, I used to think, he's like, I noticed you always used to be quiet. Now I understand why. <laughs> because I, I, I say dumb stuff and I don't mean to. <laughs> No, but I think we balance each other out because I get so emotionally wrapped up in this stuff. It, 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 I'm not, I would never make light of anything in Neither's Jay of, of, with, of course, Catherine and her diagnosis. It's more of just how it's so crazy. The things that those two do, you, you kind of, you kind of, I, I process it with anger and outrage and, and pointing out all the facts and stuff and just organizing my thoughts. Whereas you come in and you process it. I mean, you probably handle it better than I do. Like, look at these horse fucks. I don't know. <laughs> like, but tell everybody your thoughts and where to find you. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of the day, the last thing I want to make light about is somebody's illness, especially something like cancer. That's awful. I mean, that's one of the worst things that could happen to anybody. It doesn't matter if it's as, you know. Uh, well, if it was the other way, we wouldn't do this for Harry and Megan. Yeah. Yeah. If it was the other way, I mean, we wouldn't be making horse jokes about it for sure. And. You know, it, it's, I mean, it's, I'm sure almost everybody, you know, in the comments could say it's probably touched your life, whether directly or indirectly. And it, it's a shame. That's just, you know, still the world we live in. Hopefully, maybe someday we won't in that regard. But, you know, that's, that's, that's how things are. And I mean, that's, I, I think it's a lot what this video is trying to point out. Like, there, you know, despite all that, there is hope, um, you know, just anecdotally, the, human mind uh can overcome a lot of things just through positivity um 
Not through horse documentaries. <laughs> so, Did you say Harry and Meghan spread positivity? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the supposed charity, this is how they spread positivity. Not and That's not really what that's doing. Uh, anyways, before I keep on rambling, uh, you can also find me on YouTube as Dr. Bad Vibes Speaks. And Dr. Bad Vibes, if you're in the retro video games, it has nothing to do with anything right now. But uh, I will on the Speaks channel, I'll probably add a little bit more. Uh, I'll try not to make it too joking, but you know, about this. I mean, I want to see when more time passes, you know, when we're done with this, I want to see what the responses are through from uh, the general public. And I don't think they're going to be good. Guys, thank you for being so lovely to me. Look for my compilation of times. They've tried to, Harry and Meghan tried to overshadow the Wales family and the Royal, the Royal family in general. I have other compilations coming out. I'm going to get some more rest and I'll be back with new content very soon. Thank you guys for everything. And um, we'll talk to you again soon. And I'm just so happy about this news from Catherine. That's what I want to focus on now. So that's what I'll do. Uh, I appreciate you all so much. I really do have the best day. Bye-bye.